Today we're going to be dealing with the second section of geometry. I hope um, section 1-1 one, one wasn't too difficult for you. Uh, the second section we're dealing with linear measure. The title is stated linear measure and precision, but we're just going to go over linear measure. You're only going to be tested on linear measure, and precision will not be on your homework or your test, okay? Um, before we get into the section, please remember to pause the video uh, for your vocabulary, so go ahead and pause it and work on your vocabulary. I might not remind you every video, but please make sure to remember that your notes are not complete. You can do the vocabulary afterwards if you want, but don't forget or else you won't get full credit on the homework. Um, also, to remember to pause before you write or vice versa. You can pause the video, write what's on the board, and then play it, or you can watch me um, teach it and then pause it while you uh, pause it and then you write it. The important thing again is please do not pause and um, please do not write at the same time while you're listening. So that way your, t your attention isn't split. So again, we're going over linear measure 1.2. <clears throat> the first part of um, linear measure is a line segment. So we went over what lines are, and lines are basically right here. It's the ones with the arrows, and again, if you remember the definition of the arrows, it just basically means that it can't be measured, because the arrows mean that they what? Go on forever, okay? So a line segment means that it stops. So this would be a line right here, but the distance between A and B, that would be a line segment. So here, C and D, they don't have arrows, they're exact points, and the middle can be measured because it's an actual measurement. So we call it line segment CD, so instead of arrows on top, it talks about the whole line, we're just talking about that segment between C and D, so we'll just put a line. So you see the difference on how we write it. The next thing is congruent segments. The term congruent is in your vocabulary and um, basically just means equal. So you'll see congruent segments, congruent shapes. You'll see the word congruent all the time. And what that basically means is that they have the same measurement, the same area, same perimeter for when it comes to shapes. But in this case, it's just basically that if one line is congruent to the other, then it means that their measurement is the same. Okay. For example, here, x, y, and p, q, they are equal. And you can tell that they're equal simply by that little line. So you see this line right here that they give you, okay? It tells you that this is, you kind of match it. Anything with that little line means that it's equal, okay? If there's another set of lines that are equal to each other, instead of putting one, we'll put two. So for example, if I want to draw a little line segment here, and I want these two equal, but this already has one line, I'm going to put two lines. And the next set, I'm going to put three and four and so on and so forth. So those lines tell me that they are the same measurement. So if this is three centimeters, then PQ would also be three centimeters. Okay? The symbol to show that they're congruent is basically an equal sign with a little squiggle on top. That shows that they're equal. Okay? And it's written like this. XY is congruent, so I have the equal sign with the squiggle on top to PQ. Okay? So that's how you would write the two segments are congruent. Again, if you haven't done so, go ahead and write um, what's on here. Pause it and write what's on here. The next one we're dealing with are examples. It was a pretty short section. So the examples we're dealing with is just line measurement. The first part of your homework, um, sorry, the first part of your activity in class is basically just measuring. And then we're going to go into more of them actually giving you measures. So here they want us to find LM. So we have to locate LM, which is this entire line right here. So we use the whole point of solving any problem in math, which um, if you took, when you took Algebra 1, the whole point is to find out what they give you to find out what they want to know. So they want to know what the entire measurement of LN is. But they only give me MN, and they give me that this whole thing is 4 centimeters. Okay? And they want to know what LM, sorry. They don't want to know LN. They want to know this segment right here. It's missing. So I know that this is 2.6. I know the whole thing is 4 centimeters. So basically, in order for me to find this segment, okay, all I have to do is take the whole line, which is 4 And I'm going to subtract it by mn, which is 
So it looks like this. Let me show you in letters. You know that LM and MN, if I add them together, will give me the whole thing. Right? For example, if I took this marker, okay, and this marker, and I put them together, whatever this measurement is, okay, if I broke them apart, they would still be the same measurement. So what I need is LM, okay, plus MN equals the whole thing. So if this is 2 and this is 3, then the whole thing would be 5. Okay, so LM, MN equals the entire line, LN. We know what L, we know what MN is, which is 2.6, and we know that LN, the whole thing, is 4. Now we don't know what LM is. And in algebra, if I wanted to get rid of it, I just subtract. So I subtract 2.6 from both sides. So LM equals 4 minus 2.6. And don't forget, because this is a story problem, that it's centimeters. Um, so pause this and write it down. And then on page 17, number 7, that's the one you do on your own. Okay, so page 17, number 7, that's the one that we're going to check when you come into class tomorrow. The last problem we have, problem number two, they basically want us to find x and st, and then they're going to give us a bunch of information. So what's missing is that we need to find x and st, but they don't give us a picture. So in this one is a little bit more complicated because we're going to draw the pictures. Sometimes in your homework chapters, they're just going to give you words and you need to draw the pictures. Now we worked on drawing pictures before, um, so let's see if we can get this one. So uh, we know that T is between S and U. So there's two points, S and U. And it says that T is somewhere. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. It's just T is somewhere there. And it tells me that ST equals 7X. Now, we're, we're just guessing where T belongs. So this might not, this might end up bigger than the others, number-wise. But we're just going to do the problem like this. So ST equals 7S. A x, so this whole thing is 7x. Su, the whole thing is going to equal 45, just like the other problem. This is to show me that the whole thing is 45. Okay? And then Tu is 5x minus 3. It's, so it's the same setup that we were dealing with prior. We know that this segment, with this segment, when we do what with it, gets me this, if we add them. Remember? So ST plus TU equals all of 45. So it becomes, after, after you set up the problem, then it becomes an algebra, a algebra equation. So 7X plus 5X minus 3 equals 45. Right? Our first step is to combine like terms. So if you remember that from last year, basically our like terms are the X's. So 7x plus 5x gives us 13x, sorry, 12x, minus 3 equals 45, okay? So here, we add 3 to both sides. Remember, the whole point is to isolate x, x by itself. So we add 3 to both sides, we have 12x, 45 plus 3 is 48. And then our last step is to divide both sides by 12. Cross out, x equals 48 divided by 12 is 4. Are we done? Let's check. x, it told us to find x and we did that. But it also wants us to find ST. Now, how are we going to be able to do that? Because ST is not a number, it's 7X. Well, we know that X equals 4. So actually, in order to find ST, all I need to do is take 4 
and plug it into x. So 7 times 4, which then would give me 28. Remember to box your, problem, your answers, especially when we work in class and also when you do these example problems so I know which one's your answer. So we know that um, st is 28, so we got that, and we know that x equals 4, so that's all they've asked us, and we're done. Right, so please make sure that you do this one also, page 17, number 10, and you write all of this down for your complete notes, and if you haven't done so already, do your vocabulary. See you guys later.